the show that teaches you how to make awesome food at affordable prices. My name is Vlad and I am joined by Mikey James. Hi guys, uh, welcome to what is week four now, is it? Yep. Even if we are still wearing the same clothes. Same clothes, yeah. Uh, we'll just skip over that one. Welcome to week four. Uh, last week we did a... Lakshya hot pot. Yeah. yeah, we'll yeah. We've done a Lakshya hot pot. We've boxed off a chili con carne to share. We We've been through a journey. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Beef casserole. Uh, so today we're going to do a nice and quick simple chicken curry all right now out of all these meals that we've made mm. this seems the most intimidating to me because oh, a curry yeah. is just complex full of flavor absolutely kind of things yeah, going yeah. on how are we going to tackle this this is why i've called it a simple curry because <laughs> we're going to cheat and add all of that flavor from a paste wow all right and you this can is... go out, you can buy really good curry paste nowadays um buying a curry powder or making the ingredients or mixing them up yourself some raw right. ingredients and stuff is really really difficult would that be more expensive than actually Getting the ingredients yourself? Um, or? More expensive, perhaps not, but um, more convenient, right. actually, yeah. Go and buy a jar of a decent curry paste, right? Pataks are good, they do really bring out the flavour without having to do all the work. So, awesome. We've got a pan. Right. And we're going to start off by getting some oil in there. And we're going to make it. We're going to flash fry it, right? We're going to fry it, yeah. We're going to seal in all the flavour of that diced chicken we have absolutely, over here. Absolutely, absolutely, Vlad, learning quickly. Yeah. Like. So, we've got our oil in there. A little bit sure. too much oil, actually. So we've got our oil in there, yep. and we've got um, the pan getting hot, mm -hmm. uber important, as we've been through. We've got some diced chicken here, okay? Right, what part of the chicken is it? They're just chicken, chicken breast, breast yeah, absolutely. Up. If you want um, your chicken to be a little bit more moist, yep. um, buy chicken thighs. Okay. Just as good. You could even leave the thighs whole and on the bone, and you have a chicken thigh curry. Wow. Just as good. So what are you adding to it? Just some simple seasoning? Just, just salt, salt and pepper, pepper yep. just to bring out those flavours straight away, really. Um, and they do just it's a staple for any food right. salt pepper seasoning it's so important um, like I've said before you know some people say that their food never tastes as good as it does when you go out and buy it well that's because when you go out and buy it it's full of seasoning it's what they're paid to do it's their job to make it taste nice and salt and pepper will do that to always any, pepper, dish, right? any dish you've just got to be careful with the amount you're putting in right, right. so our pan's nice and hot you can see a little bit of smoke yep. coming off there we want a hot pan that's fine. Oh, so okay. in the oh, sizzling away then. Our chicken. Wouldn't Can I get started on the onion? Absolutely, yeah. So nope. you know what you're doing right now. I do. Absolutely. Right, so I'm sealing in the chicken at the minute. Right. Remember that thing about making sure that every piece of the meat is getting into it's contact covered, with the yeah. bottom of that pan, yeah? And that's gonna seal in all of that flavour. You're on onion chopping. Uh, we don't have to worry too much, yeah. Because our meat's quite chunky. Right. We don't have to make our Vegetables too small. Right. So we can have some nice chunks of onion. Just how I like my curry. Nice and chunky and with a plank while watching the game. <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, what else do we need to do? We've got your cutting the onion. That's going to go in here as well. Right. Now do I apply your fancy technique of cutting up onions or do I just go out there, do it as coolly as I can and well, get the we job done? Well, want to make sure it's consistent. Right. Like you said all the way through. So wherever you are, however you are chopping it, Strike a just make sure that every single piece of onion looks relatively the same. Right. Right, so our chicken's mm -hmm. taking a bit of colour as well. It's going nice sort of golden brown. Nice and chunky, that's it. Brilliant. Now what do you do when you get to the end and everything just starts going a bit crazy? You just, all right, really. What do good, I do at this question. point? I'll show you now. If you were to come to the end of your onion, right? Yep. If you were to come to the end of your onion, yep. And you're worried about it slipping over, mm -hmm. so you're cutting through here. Yeah. It's very easy for it to slip over. Like yeah. That. Put it in that position. Just put it in there. Much wider got... surface area on that side, right. and it's a lot less likely to slip. All right. Cool. There we go, we'll leave that on the board for now because that can just go straight in the pan in a minute. We're going to give this another little stir around. And it's frying up really quick. Absolutely, really quickly. Now, some of the other stuff we've been frying off, we've been saying that we don't want to cook it for too long yeah. or anything like that. Because chicken is white and we want to make sure it is cooked, obviously. Yeah. yeah. As later on we go through and it goes, carries on cooking, it will definitely cook the chicken. That's not something to worry about. 
In the meantime, we do want to make sure that while we're cooking it now, mm -hmm. that it is reaching that temperature. So this is going to take sort of four, five, maybe even six minutes to sort of seal off. Really keep those flavours inside and keep it nice and moist as well. One thing about chicken breast, if you cook it wrong, it'll just be super right. dry. Yeah, yeah. Well, not very at all. All right, so the, while we're sure. going to continue cooking, we're going to chuck in uh, onion. Now you can add some peppers to this, green peppers right. are always good in the curry. Uh, you could add some tomatoes, maybe a little bit later on. But something, first of all, just to just disguise those vegetables, get them in there. Right. Um, I remember when I used to cook for my younger siblings and stuff, mm -hmm. they'd never want to eat vegetables ever. <laughs> but if you've hidden it inside a spaghetti bolognese or a chicken curry, they wouldn't care. They don't even know the difference. Oh, man. Absolutely. So we're going to have that look cooked down for a second as well. So I assume this is all the hard work out of the way now, because what's left is just, it's just paste stuff to add in. Yeah, that's it. The yogurt wow. is... The yoghurt is for finishing, Okay. we don't have to worry about yep. it for a while. This will be the next thing going in. Mm -hmm. We've got a stock cube, which you're going to open a pocket stack yep. jug for me, and I've got some boiling water just here. So in a second, we're going to add some stock to this. Chicken stock. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I know this is a different colour from one of these. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I'd go with uh, maybe two thirds of that stock cube. We don't need right. too much. So there you go. It's two thirds. Really? Where is the fork? Uh, I'll grab the fork. There we go. Right. Water's boiled. How much water do we use? A pint right. again? So, no, we don't want to use a pint this time because right. we're going to take a lot of the flavour and stuff mm -hmm. coming from the yoghurt rather than, which is what we're going to finish it off with later. Right. So, we're going to have about 250 mils. 250 mils. Yep. So, we'll shut down there. You give that a stir, I'll give this a stir. So I've noticed there's no chilies in this in this curry. No chilies in this. All of the flavour, all of the spiciness, everything that's going to make this a curry is going to come from this. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, in a minute, we just have some sort of chicken soup sort of thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, all the flavour, all the spice is going to come out of the out of the decent curry paste. You don't have to buy um, a korma paste. You can buy any kind of paste. You want a tikka paste. Uh, just a standard Thai red curry right. paste or something. There's a lot of variety there, so you can just... And then you've got a different kind of curry there. Oh, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Right, so, so... This is ready to just brilliant. pour in. Yep, we'll pour that in. Cool. All of it? Yep. Fire that in there. Fantastic. And then we're going to take a good couple of spoonfuls of this. Now have a right. little smile of that. that. Wow, that stuff is... Intense, huh? Jeez. So be careful with it. You don't want to have too much. I'm going to put... <laughs> Maybe two spoonfuls of that. Right. Okay, and we're going to give that a little stir through. You can see how that's, oh, that's instantly transformed. Form, yeah. yeah. From like a sort of. Like a soupy sort non -color, of. Non colour. Yeah. It was very sort of anemic in there before, no colour to it, and straight away that's gone sort of. It's light. really packed, gave Absolutely. it a punch, yeah. So a nice sort of vibrant colour. Brilliant. So uh, we'll just leave that for a couple of minutes, just awesome. to sort of simmer away, and we'll come back in a minute, and we're really going to be looking at adding to it, covering it for a bit, and then cooking it for about 40 minutes. Great. Right. So remember, don't leave your food unattended. Somebody got to keep watch. Absolutely. Yeah. If you can, if someone else is in the kitchen, ask them to watch it. If, uh, if your kitchen is in your living room, you're at a bonus and you can sort of sit with your back to it, but do keep an eye on it, right? Cool. Once water's boiled away and you're just left with a dry pan, that dry pan heats up, right. burns, smoke comes off, and you're set on fire. You're screwed. Off. Absolutely. Cool. All right, none of you flat will like you know, will like that either. <laughs> so, uh, while we've got like a minute or two, um, Vlad, actually, what do you say um, you've learned the most so far? We're in week four now. Oh, man. What would you take away from this? What's probably been... It's been a long journey, man. <laughs> well, what I've learned is just you don't need loads of ingredients to make good food. Absolutely, yeah. Simple, Simple stuff, stuff, fresh ingredients, pop it in there, get yep. it going and you're good. It's not as hard as everybody thinks it and is. And the tastes? Oh, it just tastes They work. Well. They yeah. absolutely work, yeah. Uh, how about your confidence now? You oh, I can, 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 yeah, I can wield yeah. the knife now, man. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty dangerous with a knife, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was it you said at the beginning then that you cook normally? Was it just cereal, cereal and the occasional omelette? And an omelette, yeah, 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 of course. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll do an omelette later on in the, uh, Let's do it. In the year. Let's we'll, um, teach me a few there things. There are a couple of ways we can do some really nice omelettes and stuff. But we'll, uh, we'll go through some stuff. Hopefully everyone else will feel a little bit like you and <laughs> feel a little bit more progressed in what they can do cooking-wise, all right? So we'll leave this to cook for a second. Right. I'm going to leave that to... What? How? I'm how putting it on three. It's been on right. six, so it's been on the hottest it can be yep. because we want to seal in all those flavours. Mm -hmm. 
But now I'm going to put it onto three so it's just simmering lightly. Right. And essentially, what we're doing is boiling all of that flavour we've just put in through the curry paste, through the stock. Just boiling that into the chicken. That's going to make it so really tender. It's going to absorb in. Really it, juicy, yeah. absolutely. And it's going to taste great. Oh, man. Right. I can't wait to taste so it. So welcome back in a couple of minutes. But cool. We'll keep an eye on this. All right. Well, true. Right. Welcome back. We just let this simmer for five minutes or so, and now we're back to where the sauce has been reduced. Okay, so um, we have been, this has been now cooking for 45 minutes, just under maybe. Yeah, Not five, quite five maybe, minutes, but know, 45 minutes, close enough. So we've been cooking <laughs> for about 45 minutes and, and what that's done is really, the chicken then has become like a sponge and it's just right. absorbed all of that flavour. Um, so what we're going to do, nice and simple now, it has started to reduce a little bit, but we're going to finish off that sauce. So what we'll do is first of all we're going to take out the meat. And again, right. I haven't stirred it a lot mm -hmm. so that the chicken is still in chunks, alright? So we'll take that out, we'll pop that in there, this fancy looking dish. Right. So what would you usually serve this with? So you could serve it with some rice, yep. um, and maybe some naan bread or whatever, and again with that whole sort of rough bread thing, get some naan bread or whatever, mm -hmm. you can buy really good naan bread, some really good papadoms now. Um, so you don't have to sort of try and make your own yeah. or whatever. Alright, that looks lovely. And it's just filtered room with chicken. Goodness. Get that in yeah. there. Okay, and we've still got a little bit of onion there. That's not really too much of a problem. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take back our wooden spoon. Right. And we're going to add, if you wouldn't do me, do me a little favour, just wipe that off. Here. Yes. Um, we're going to add about half a spoonful of tomato puree. And we'll just give that a little stir in. Right, so what we're going to do with the sauce, are we just going to reduce so it? So we're back on the low heat, we're on four on the gas, on the electric hob. Right. And you can see there, just adding that tomato puree. It's, really, it it's lovely, already thickening up, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So we'll just let that cook out, just so the tomato puree cooks out mm -hmm. a bit, we don't be left with that bitter taste. And then we've got some Greek yogurt here now. Before I add this Greek yogurt, just have a little taste of this. Tell me if you think it's a bit hot. Right. Let me grab that unless you want to feed me. <laughs> I'm good for now. I'm good for now. <laughs> Only grapes. <laughs> Go on, have a little taste. Quite spicy? It's, uh, that is really rich. Yeah. It's not really spicy rich. enough for my liking, but. Okay, good stuff. It's really rich. Absolutely. Now, if it is a little bit too hot for some people, as it might be, what we're going to do is we're going to add a nice, healthy dollop right. of some Greek yogurt. And so that's uh, not really only my little makes the spice milder but also gives a bit more it has another sort of creamy texture yeah. to it it's gonna make it's gonna cool down that hotness we're gonna add well let's say we'll try two first of all mm -hmm. right so we'll chuck that in there we'll give that a little stir through and now it's starting to look like a curry absolutely yeah, <laughs> yeah. and you can do the same with um coconut milk although i'd allow it oh, to really? cook a little bit further down because mm -hmm. it's really quite wet coconut milk um or you could add uh, like a sour cream if you wanted to add that sort right. of flavor to it I'm going to add just another spoonful of that into there. Mm -hmm. and you can see it's made it a little bit wetter again. Yeah. And so what we'll do is we'll just allow, allow that now just to reduce down again. Yep. And here is where you can control how thick and saucy you make your curry. Right. So we can leave that to cook until it's quite sort of thick and stodgy. Mm -hmm. I quite like my sauces and my curry's quite thick. Mm -hmm. uh, or you could serve it up when it's a little bit runnier still. So right. we'll leave that for another minute or two and you can see there it's just lightly bubbling. Yeah. If it's bubbling too hard, it's burning on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nice and low heat. Four should be fine. If it's bubbling a bit too much, turn it down to three. And then we'll just let that cook down a little bit. Right. Okay, in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll get some of this. We're just going to garnish it. Absolutely. And also add another flavour. Mm -hmm. So, we're just going to roughly chop this up. Don't worry about making it perfect or anything. The stalks and all as well. It doesn't matter about the stalks. A lot of people are a bit funny about it. Spend about a day picking off <laughs> bits of stalk and stuff. But actually, the stalks contain so much flavour. So much right. more flavour than actually the... Um, than the leaves themselves do. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to, uh, to use Throw it that. all in there. Absolutely. So we'll just let that reduce for a couple of minutes yep. and then when we come back it should be nice and thick. Awesome. Alright? Hello and welcome to this week's Nimbly Bears. 
This week we're at Rap Chick, which is located on Digby Diner. It's an Indian burrito bar which sells wraps, burritos and other yummy foods from cheap prices starting at 3.50 upwards. It's open from 8am till 3.30pm. And similar to this, we've got a noodle bar and throw ball which is called Noshi. And it's good for Chinese food at lunch times at cheap prices if you want to visit that with your friends. Also on Froebel, we've got a Starbucks coffee, which is good for frappuccinos, hot and cold drinks, and is perfect for the cold weather. That's open until 5.30pm. On all of our campuses, we've got a range of different restaurants that you can visit. But for more information, visit www.ziononcampus.co.uk forward slash University of Roehampton forward slash places to eat. This has been Nibbly Bits, and we're glad we've informed you and all the caterers on campus. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you again soon. I'll tell you what, actually, why don't we, while well, we've got a second or two, why don't we tell these guys where they can get these uh, ingredients from? Well, most of these ingredients can be sourced from your local Amigos. Absolutely. If you look out for the fresh Nosh uh, packaging, mm -hmm. sticker on your packet, you can get it at a discounted rate. Absolutely. Yep. And yet, like I said, it's in the Amigo shop in Digby. Uh, you will have to go out and buy your own meat, but that's not a problem. You'll be going to do your weekly ice to shop anyway. But yeah, pop into your local Amigo shop, pick up a pack. Largely discounted. It's there for you students to take advantage of. Okay, so that's been probably cooking down for about a minute or so. We'll yep. give that another second. It does look as though it's starting to split in there, but that's not a problem. As it reduces, it right. will become a little bit thicker. What do you do when it splits? Do you just... It, as it going? reduces, it will right. thicken up and it will become one sort of thing. Okay. What it is is the yogurt and any of the oils that are in there mm -hmm. obviously don't gel too well together. Right. So they start to separate. But what will happen is you keep stirring it and you keep letting that thicken up and they'll eventually be forced to sort of Right, so just keep stirring it. Sort of yeah. yeah, absolutely. Cool. Also, the good thing, well done for mentioning it, stirring as well while you're reducing allows the top of the sauce to get to the bottom of the pan. Right, so distribute it better. Thus making the, the reduction a lot quicker. So, yep, yeah, stir it every now and again. Yeah, and so also you've still got like a small piece of whatever that is of some vegetables that still will that affect the sauce in no, any way? Absolutely not. I mean, what we're doing really is finishing off the dish. Like, you can see the chicken's cooked. It looks good. Should be nice and yellow all the way through. Oh, yeah. Been, yeah, there we go. So, um, and then what we'll do is we'll add the sauce over to the top and that'll just finish off the dish. Cool. Top it off with a bit of coriander, serve it with some nice light white rice or brown rice if you're feeling particularly healthy. <laughs> and there we go. All right, I think yeah. um, I'm pretty happy with that yeah. as, a, as a sauce, yeah. Well, we'll maybe give it another minute or so, right. the 30 seconds or something like that. But it really is quite quick. And like we did with the um, with the chilli in the first week, let it cook for half an hour, 40 minutes on its own. And it's just absorbing all of those flavours and taking in those, those ingredients that we've been putting in. So you can see around there, you see as it starts to, as I stir it around the side, it fizzes almost where yeah. the top layer, the colder area of the sauce, contacts into the bottom. So it's just the sauce asking you to stir it. Absolutely. Well, it's looking good, it's smelling great, can't wait to taste it. Mm, more eating. <laughs> okay, right, I'm just going to go over this now and just pour it over the top. Cool. There we go. Can we get this? This is awesome. Little bits of onion and stuff in there as well. They're just adding flavour. That is beautiful stuff. There we go. I'll give that a little wipe there. Where's the other? Don't you worry, I've got one. And then we've got the coriander on top. And that adds a nice fresh element to it as well. There we go. <laughs> one quick, easy chicken curry. Wow. Tuck in, mate. Tell me I think. shall. Let me grab a fork. Careful, it's going to be hot. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Enjoy. And again, as I mentioned, this smells great. I'm just going to try and get a small piece of chicken. Which is not going to happen. We can take a small bite. <laughs> oh man, that chicken is just wonderful. Yeah. It's tender, it's juicy, the flavors come through. This is great stuff. Brilliant. Remember, pick up all your ingredients from the Amigo shop. That'll be available from this week. We're going to take a couple of weeks out now. It's reading week for a lot of people. Yep. So we'll be back in two weeks with some more culinary delights for you. And some new clothes. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. some new clothes. We might even go home and shower. <laughs> take care. See you in a couple of weeks. Take care. Up to the bar again. Very nearly burnt that hand <laughs> Mm-hmm.